How hot does a copper pipe need to get in order to do a solder joint? We're going to find out up next. Welcome everybody to Tailgate Tuesday edition of Plumbing with Tim. Today we're going to do a little experiment. We're going to heat up some copper and we're going to do a solder joint, not like you haven't seen me do it before. But today we're going to find out exactly what temperature it takes for that copper to get in order for me to do a solder joint. So let's get right to it. guys get a chance to see that I had my heat gun pointed directly at that copper while I was heating it up and at 260 degrees it was at the point ready to take a solder joint all right so let me take just a second and explain to you uh, there are differences in copper today the copper we work with is type L copper okay there's type M type A uh, the reason why that I'm talking about this is because your heat may vary uh, when it comes to the type of copper that you're actually working with so the moral of this story is you guys out there that are soldering copper and you're using these big acetylene tanks that reach 600 degrees and even sometimes more some of these guys I see are heating this simple basic three quarter inch copper up way too hot and when it gets too hot it just runs the solder off there and makes for messy joints and stuff that's why I choose my little turbo torch for most of my jobs unless I'm working on something big because I know that I can achieve my 260 degrees for a perfect solder joint every time and not overheat it so there you guys have it thank you so much for stopping by uh, today I was just doing a simple little experiment and proving a point that sometimes bigger is not better that's why I carry around my little turbo torch because I know I can achieve my 260 degree temperature for a perfect solder joint on these residential jobs such as half inch three quarters and all the way up to one inch and inch and a quarter sometimes now if I'm on bigger and commercial jobs where it requires more heat that's when I use my biggest acetylene tank so until next time thanks for dropping by and having fun with me don't forget to subscribe and make sure to keep plumbing